Hello, good morning. I just fed Yogi and finished my run and stretching. So now I'll just get ready and we'll have some breakfast. <laughs> So it is now just after 9.15. I had my breakfast and my coffee and now it's time to go to work. Now the beauty of my job is that it's fully remote. So my commute is no longer an hour to an hour and a half, but rather it's, let me just, let me just show you. Hi everyone, uh, it's been a very long time, but I hope you're all doing well and had a very happy new year. I have recently started my job as a product manager at a unicorn startup called Coda. And this is actually quite fitting because Coda is a productivity app, so it's, it's a pretty good fit. But yeah, it's been three months and I've just been dedicating most of my time to ramping up, learning about this whole new world of being a product manager and just becoming more acquainted with my team and our product. But yeah, today is a Friday and I have a somewhat lighter schedule than usual, so I thought I would take you along for a day in the life. Right now it's just about 10 a.m. and I've been working for about an hour. One of the beauties of my job is that it is remote and most of my team members are in a different time zone. So what that means is that I have this beautiful block of time every single morning from around like 9 to 11, 11 to 11 30 where I can do my solo work. Now other PMs will probably relate to this that it's very hard to find large chunks of time where we don't have meetings and so having this morning chunk is really helpful for me to get work done that's not a meeting. So that's either replying to Slack messages or emails, it might be preparing for a meeting, or it might be preparing a write-up for um, different projects that we're kicking off. So yeah, I did that and I just spent some time doing a quick write-up tutorial for one of my upcoming meetings today. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, I'll get back to work and I'll check in. I'll check in in a little bit. It's almost 11 o'clock and I'm preparing for my few hours of back-to-back -back meetings. These meetings are really helpful to make sure that you're seeing people face-to-face -face and actually you know, making decisions on things and moving forward. For me, I am an introvert, so sometimes having back-to-back -back meetings can just be a bit draining in terms of my energy. Especially when I started my job, like I was not used to Zoom and I was not used to sitting in front of my camera. Well, I was not used to sitting in front of a webcam and talking to people live all day. Now I'm a lot more used to it. I know how to kind of manage my energy level so I don't get drained by the end of the day. My Slack is going crazy. Oh my goodness.
just about 1 a.m. and I am midday through my meetings. So far I had one meeting with an agency that we might be working with as well as a one-on-one -on -one. and just now we had a team stand-up. So now looking at my schedule, we have a pitch with a, let's just say a prominent influencer that we're doing at Coda. And then after that, one of the meetings I was preparing for this morning, we're gonna have, uh, which is walking people through how to use user testing. Um, I'll, I'll get back to you after the meetings are over. Just finished most of my meetings, just one left, which is the Friday demos. And the kind of interesting and challenging aspect of being a PM, from my experience at least, is that there is a lot of context switching involved in the role. For all of these different meetings, I'm basically meeting with some people who are in the best of their field, whether it's design or engineering or marketing, and they're coming from, you know, the most prestigious companies like Google and Facebook. And so to step into a meeting as a product manager and to kind of, you know, drive a decision or kind of lead some product vision, I need to, you know, in preparation, kind of come up to speed with what's going on and be able to, you know, in the context of that meeting, ask the right questions, get the right information to kind of drive at least what I think is the right decision, which can sometimes be also challenging because there isn't always a right decision. So yeah, <laughs> that's a somewhat challenging aspect of the role as a product manager. I think it's a skill that you build as you become more and more experienced. So I'm still at the very beginning, but yeah, I think that's also why sometimes having a day full of meetings can just be so tiring because my mind is like jumping from all these different like projects or sides of my brain. So it can be, <sighs> Sometimes a lot, which is why I like to take a break sometimes and just like go outside or have my coffee or play with Yogi. But yeah, 10 minutes until the next meeting. So I think I will go to the dining room just to take that last call before it's the end of the work day. And we are LED. Oh no. Okay. One sec. Let's try again. Can you guys see this? <laughs> 